So in hooking wings, when we're doing this, hands are up, probably you stop, don't push me. The guy's gonna push low, so we step back, we do our kick, we get our hammer fist and our chop. That is an orbital switch. I'm going, this came down, came up, didn't stop, didn't reverse, hammer, goes around this corner from this major from this major line to this major line so it's down around this major line comes up to this major line hits and comes down oh wait a second i stopped so that must be the end of that this this isn't going to be an orbital switch then but as i shuffle forward and do my elbow and then i come to what oh wait it went up it stopped and it's reversing so that's not an orbital switch. Do you see the differences? So if we're doing hooking wings, my hands are up, don't push me, and the guy pushes low, you're gonna hook, kick, hammer, chop, shuffle, and claw. So from here, this is going around this circle, this way. And then at the top, it changes to this. So it's back, over, changes to this side, changes to this side, slices through, stops, and then if you think about it, it was going down, goes up, this stops, reverses, and comes back down. So the first couple moves of hooking wings is orbital switching. The, set, the last couple moves are not. They're all over the place. It's huge. All right. Uh, if you think about the three things you can do to a circle, uh, if you check that video out, it all ties together. All right? Uh, that's the great thing about Kempo is that it just everything ties together. And the better you understand this principle, it makes this one easier to understand. The better you understand this one, it makes this one easier to understand. So, but that is orbital switches. Thank you for watching this video production from Kempo University.